Well, I don't believe this. Another gift for Tim from Santa. <laughs> now, I was afraid Mrs. Claus might have gone a little overboard, but apparently Santa has a gold card. Hey, come on, Chrissy. It's Tim's first Christmas. Besides, he's got to have a tractor. Otherwise, how's he going to work his little farm? And then he's got to get the hay in the barn by the first snowfall, or the moo cows will starve. And then before you know it, for a second Christmas, little Tim will lose the farm to the mean old Milton Bradley banker. Do you think we have lost sight of the true meaning of Christmas? No, I don't think so. We may have lost sight of Tim. <laughs> I haven't seen him since we opened up the Cookie Monster Record Yourself Rock and Roll Tape Deck. Oh, my God. Tim. Tim. Oh. Oh, my God, here he is. Well, he's playing back here. Oh, what's he playing with? His toe. <laughs> miss you guys well we are going to miss you but we'll be watching the game <sighs> can't believe i gotta leave you guys on christmas day to go oh. coach a football game in godforsaken buffalo oh. can you believe that we're going to god's country buffalo <laughs> new york <laughs> hi christine hi tim hi tim come on get a move on we got a plane to catch hi, tim. you're excited about going to buffalo <laughs> yeah it's a great city buffalo buffalo yeah buffalo as in Buffalo chicken wings. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's like the Graceland of junk food. This is this is going to be like a sacred pilgrimage for me. <laughs> Luther, I, I am sure that Buffalo has more to offer than just wings. Not for me, baby, just the wings. <laughs> well, maybe to coach a game. See, Buffalo is the first stop in a lifelong quest I have to visit all the great food capitals of the world. I want to go to Bermuda for the onions. France for the fries and toast. Uh, yeah, well, listen, I don't want to. I don't want to keep the pilgrim from Mecca, so we'll uh, see you later. Poland for the sausage, Turkey for the well, Turkey. <laughs> and someday I hope to visit all the thousand islands. This is a blizzard alert. Buffalo Airport is now officially closed. Travel in Erie and Niagara counties is now restricted to emergency vehicles only. There's no snow like this in my life. Main thing is we made it, we're safe. Now you can relax. <sighs> what the hell are we doing here? Well, you're the one who didn't want to stay in Buffalo. You're the one who wanted the team secluded and away from the press. And this is the best you could come up with? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. The Fantasy Inn's the only motel around that had 30 rooms available at such short notice. This is where I'm supposed to play in the most important game of my life, in, in a pink room with a, with a heart-shaped bed? Hey, look, look, we have our own jacuzzi. Oh. See, it bubbles like real champagne. Shirley and I enjoyed a similar one on our honeymoon. Oh, Howard, <laughs> do you have any idea how much I hate this? Oh, let's just be honest. You wouldn't be happy with any place I chose. Why is it that you always feel the need to criticize every decision I make? Why? Oh, for God. Just leave me alone. Fine. <laughs> no, I meant leave my room. This is our room. <laughs> what? We are sharing this room. Oh, no. Oh, come on, hey. <laughs> All of the rooms are double booked, and since we're both executives in the organization, I thought we should share the nicest room together. This is the nicest room? Well, except for the honeymoon suite, but I thought you might feel awkward. <laughs> well, it could be more awkward than this. Well, in the honeymoon suite, the heart-shaped bed rotates, and there's some video equipment. Listen, <laughs> I am not any happier about this than you are. At least we'll each have our own ventricle. I'm going to sleep on a couch. It is a love seat. It is a couch. Oh, boy. Hey, Dawn. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Oh, hey, Lou. Wow. A champagne glass jacuzzi. Now, that's class. <laughs> Can Dawn and I come down and use it? No. Selfish. <laughs> Hey, we're having a wing-ding party in our room. You want to come down? A wing-ding? I got 40 buckets of Buffalo's finest. <laughs> you got mild, hot, and are these good or are these chest pains? <laughs> we're talking hot, boy. I lost most of my nose hair just sniffing them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
wait a minute, wait a minute. We've only been here five minutes. How the hell did you end up with 40 buckets of chicken wings? I ordered them from the airport. The guy placed in Buffalo delivers them by snowmobile. No, I don't want any stupid chicken wings. I don't think anybody else would want any stupid chicken wings either. We're here to be focusing on the game. Oh, come on, Hayden. The guy's been working hard all week. They're going to be working hard the next couple of days. They deserve one night of fun. We are here to play a football game. If we wanted to have fun, then we'd be home spending it with our families. Oh, now, why don't you admit it? That's really what's bothering you. You're grumpy because you can't be with Tim and Christine for Christmas. Well, you're not the only one missing Christmas, mister. There's 60 other guys out there missing their families, too. And the only thing they got to look forward to are my chicken wings. So if you want to take that away from them, you just go ahead and do it, Ebenezer Fox. I want to be part of your stupid chicken wings. I'd like to be a part of it. And I have my own container of moist toilets. <laughs> Howard, we're having a chicken wing party. We're going to eat chicken wings with our fingers. Then we're going to wipe them all over our shirt. Do you think you can handle that? Yes. Okay, then you're in. Oh, uh, you'll need your coat. We're across the courtyard in the I Do Annex. Okay. <laughs> Great! Uh, you're going to be all right here alone, Hayden? Oh, yeah, I got scented candles and bath oil. I got everything I need. <laughs> okay, Rumi, don't stay up. You turn that bed off and you go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Hayden. Hayden, I'm not feeling so well. What's the matter? I don't know. I feel really feverish. My stomach's doing flip-flops. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Perfect. It's me, coach. <laughs> hey, Dabber. We got a problem. Everyone's getting sick. What? Uh, it's like they're all coming down with some kind of flu or something. How many guys are we talking about, Doc? A lot. I, I saw a bunch of lights on on my way over here, and Doc's checking everyone out. Well, how you feeling? Not great. Uh, I'm trying to ignore it, but I'm feeling pretty queasy. Well, that wasn't pretty. I think I threw up a kidney. Excuse me. There you are. Hayden, what in the hell is going on? It's 3 a.m. in the morning. The doctor just woke me up, see if I was okay, and then I looked on the other side of the heart, and Dauber was gone. What's the matter with him? Well, he's sick, and apparently a lot of other people are getting sick, too. How are you feeling? I'm fine. How about you? Yeah, I'm fine, too. Hey, what's up, Doc? <laughs> I always wanted to say that. Doesn't look good. You got over 30 players sick. With what? Food poisoning. Food poisoning? Food poisoning from what? It's probably those chicken wings you gave them. Where'd you get them, Luther? I got them at the... Wing place. What wing place? Well, come on, I don't think it was the wings. I mean, I smell it more than anybody else, and I feel fine. You know, I, th I think it was airplane food. You think it was roasted cashews and soft drinks? <laughs> come on, Luther, the last thing anybody had to eat last night was those stupid wings of yours. Now, where'd you get them? I got them at, uh, at Buffalo Billy's. Buffalo Billy's? Buffalo Billy's. Buffalo Billy's Wing Shack in Buffalo. Did they have any idea of knowing who the wings were for? Yeah. I told Billy they were for the breakers. Why? Then maybe Buffalo Billy set us up. What do you mean? Maybe he gave us bad wings on purpose. Oh, what? You are so paranoid. Hey, Luther, you don't think there's a chance that Billy from Buffalo might want to see us lose to his team, the Buffalo Bills? Shh. This is really small of you, Hayden. <laughs> Billy seemed like a terrific guy. In fact, when I told him I was with the breakers, he gave me the wings for free. <laughs> Luther, 
You're telling me that Buffalo Billy from Buffalo, New York, home of the Buffalo Bills, offers you 40 buckets of free chicken wings, and that didn't trigger something in you? I don't think Billy would deliberately poison people. It's not good for repeat business. Well, maybe he's willing to risk that on the guys that could keep his team out of the Super Bowl. You know what your problem is, Hayden? You always look for the worst in people. I bet you, you don't even take those free little sausage samples they hand out in the grocery store. You're so afraid. Who? Who? Someone's trying to kill me. I'm going to bless everybody who's sick. God, our entire offensive and defensive lines? Big wing fans. And most of our starting backfield. I mean, geez, don't we have any vegetarians? The equipment guy. He's fine. Yeah. Oh, well, great. Now we got someone to pass out jock straps. But so what are you still looking at me for? I told you it wasn't my wings. I ate four buckets and I'm fine. Well, I never encountered it before, but maybe Luther somehow built up a natural tolerance to salmonella. To, to what? It's a bacteria found in undercooked chicken. How can you undercook chicken? <laughs> Like a fine steak, chicken's supposed to be a little, little pink in the middle. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> but I like all my meat rare. In fact, I ate the bacon straight from the pack. Make him shut up! Oh, for God's sake, shut up! Doc, do you think there's any way you can get any of the guys back on their feet by Sunday? That's less than 48 hours, Hayden. That's gonna be tough. Just do what you can to get as many guys ready for Sunday, all right? Okay, I'm not making any promises. Doc? If we can't get him well by Sunday, I think we should fire him. <laughs> Bob, here's what I want you to do. Get as many guys that have played football around here as you can. Listen, anybody, you know, old NFL guys, college guys, arena football players, Canadian football, anybody that's played football, can you get them here by Sunday? Oh, I'll get right on it in a minute. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Nothing. We'll take it from here. You've done just about everything you can. Thank you. Hey, what do you want from me? Even if it was my chicken wings that did it, how, how was that my fault? I didn't cook them. In fact, I thought they were a little overcooked. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a little team spirit here, some camaraderie, make the team feel like family. Well, you succeeded, Luther. They're all throwing up together. Well, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I screwed up. It was an innocent mistake. Hell, anybody could have made it. No, 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 uh, no, no. No, no! If Buffalo Billy from Buffalo, New York offers me Hayden Fox, coach of the Orlando Breakers, $500 worth of Buffalo Wings, when I'm about to play the Buffalo Bills, I say, hold it, what's wrong with this picture? Why is Buffalo Billy wanting to give me free food? Maybe he wants to hurt my team. But someone else looks at the same picture and says, ooh, 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 free food! So what do you say? I am saying, Luth, if for just one second you thought of the team instead of yourself all the time, maybe you would have questioned Buffalo Billy's motives. But no, you always put yourself first. The team came here to play a football game. You, on the other hand, came here for chicken. How dare you say I put myself before the team? I got enough chicken for everybody, including you. But you didn't want any. And why didn't you want any? Because you don't want to be a part of this team. You're the one separate yourself from everybody else, not me. Hey, I'm the good guy in this picture. Oh, Luther, you are so full of, of chicken. You don't know what you're talking about. You always put yourself first. I don't put myself first. I do not. You're the ones moping around because you can't be with your family at Christmas. At least you have a family. I gave up a family for this team. Oh, how much chicken did you eat? <laughs> I'm getting the doctor back in here. It's gone to your little pea brain. Oh, no. I'm serious. I could have had a wife, a wife and a family, but I sacrificed. I put the team before myself. Luther, I have known you for 30 years. What woman did you leave behind for the good of the team? Well, that just it. I didn't even get that far. <laughs> so, no, Hayden, I cannot tell you the name of the woman but I can tell you the name of, of my children. <laughs> Sam, Sarah, and, and little Hayden Jr. Now, don't, before you get all emotional, they, they don't exist, thanks to you. 
God, I don't even know how to respond to this. You say you're sorry that you said I put myself before the team when clearly I thought of nothing but the team my entire professional life. You, on the other hand, might want to do a little soul searching tonight. <laughs> I can't even have this conversation. I, I need some air. Just one little simple, Luther, please forgive me. How hard can it be? You can't do it for me. Do it for my family. It's Christmas. <laughs> All right, you guys just follow John and he'll give you a jersey. There's plenty of them to go around. Hey, Coach. How you feeling? Oh, I, I'm feeling better. Uh, Doc gave me something for my stomach, and, and I think it's working. Uh, How are our guys doing? Oh, not great. Uh, everybody that could stand up, suited up. How many is that? 29 and a half. <laughs> and a half? Well, Gerber wasn't really standing up. He was just kind of leaning against his locker. I, I think if we line up tight, he should be okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Everybody gather up, huh? Come on, guys. Hang in there, Gerber. We may need you. <laughs> well, it's, it's going to be the toughest fight of our lives. We're understaffed, undertrained, we're under medication. <laughs> we have to overcome some incredible odds. But this is a team that's overcome incredible odds before, and, and we've beaten them. There's no reason why we can't continue that today. I'm not going to go on with this. Fellas, it's going to be terrible out there today. You know, you don't have to feel guilty about it because it's not your fault. <laughs> now, I see where this is going. It's time to blame Luther again. But before we do that, let me see a show of hands. How many of you guys, other than Coach Fox, think, thinks it was my wings that got us in this predicament? Okay, fine. That's fine. That's how you feel. I accept the responsibility and I apologize. I'm sorry I poisoned you. <laughs> but I just want you to know this didn't happen because I don't care about you. It happened because I care about you too much. And, and for that, I don't apologize. If indeed I got suckered into accepting bad wings, it's because I choose to see the best in people. Unlike others, I don't go around suspecting everyone else's motives. I don't worry about the sausage in the grocery store. <laughs> I don't want to be afraid of everything some stranger hands me on a toothpick. I just don't want to live my life that way. <laughs> I mean, some people may call, call that gullible. I call it having faith. And that's something I'm just not willing to give up. And I'll tell you something else I'm not willing to give up. I'm, I'm not willing to give up my faith in this team. It takes a special kind of guy to put on a jersey and go out there when he's feeling sick or he hasn't played football in a long time, takes a guy, a guy with courage, a guy with heart, a guy that puts the team before himself, my kind of guy. I'm telling you, Buffalo doesn't know what they're in for. I may be gullible, but I think we got them right where we want them. <laughs> we may not be able to keep those chicken wings down, but those chicken wings aren't going to keep us down. Come on, let's go. What do you say? Yeah, all right. Follow me. Follow me. Wild card Sunday and Tom, what a wild one it was. Let's start with Buffalo, where the Bills and their friend, the Snow, took on the Orlando Breakers. Well, Chris, in a game forever to be known as the Toilet Bowl, the Bills flushed the Breakers 63 to nothing. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, could you tell me where I can find Buffalo Billy? I'm Buffalo Bill. Uh, hi, Billy. I'm uh, Luther Van Damme, assistant coach with the Orlando Breakers. I'm the one you gave the wings to. Yeah. Uh, as you probably know, the whole team got food poisoning. and We lost the game because of it. Yeah, so? Well, I just need to know for my own peace of mind, did, did you, Buffalo Billy, intentionally give me bad wings? No. Cheap! 
Now that's what I told him. That's what I told him. <laughs> but my faith in mankind is restored. Thanks a lot, Billy. I appreciate it. No, no problem. This is really a relief. I was beginning to think that I was gullible. <laughs> By the way, Billy, I love your wings. Oh, thanks, Bill. We try to put out a good product. Well, you sure do. Uh, by, by the way, uh, good luck with Pittsburgh next week. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, say, uh, you wouldn't happen to know any of the uh, coaches on Pittsburgh's team, would you? Yeah, I know some of them. Well, uh, tell them to come by. Sure, I can do that. Will you give them the same deal you gave me? Exactly the same deal. <laughs>